dominance in our sports is leading us to somewhere else. Now we have how many sports suspended? There's football suspended. Uh, uh, swimming is banned as of late. And badminton is suspended. More to go because athletics is heading the same way. Should we continue the way we are doing right now with the issues of doping? AIU is going to crack its whip. And they're going to try to order, by the way, and tell, say Kenyans cannot be allowed on international uh, shattered waters because of doping issue. Where are we headed to? Anyway, peak sports uh, are organized a swimming gala on Sunday in at McKinney School where they give the young swimmers opportunity to test their skills and grow their skills as they continue to see if they can represent the country should the ban on swimming be lifted anytime soon. This peak, this peak sport says that this is the only opportunity of nurturing young talents due from their tender age as young as four years old. I talked to uh, the organizers and this is what they had to say. For the gala and I'm from Simplicity Simplicity Swim School Kenya and I'm happy to be the I am champion today and I want to be the Kenyan champion. Your name? Ella. Why are you here? What have you come to do? To swim. How old are you? Four. Which school do you go to? Potter House. But which club are you swimming for today? Simplicity. Simplicity. Okay. Why do you like swimming? Thank you, swimmer. Because, because it's fun. I've come to Makini for a swimming gala called Pick Spot, and it was kind of competitive, but I made it, and I'm happy with myself. It keeps you fit makes you strong and it's a sport and to become a swim a swimmer like michael phelps this is this event that uh, uh, the organizers usually try as much as they can to have this event timely and it helps gauge a swimmer where they are because when they train as a team they sometimes think they are good the moment you have an event like this one it pushes them hard I must tell you, this is one of the events that we should be encouraging the children to come to, and also as their parents. For the children, it's more of them building their confidence, also their social skills, they're being exposed to other activities. They get to be more creative when they are doing that. They get to learn that competition requires a lot of dedication, a lot of determination and discipline. And so they are being exposed to many of these skills that they need in life, and also to excel in their future. As parents, as a country, I feel like there's a need to develop this space more for the extracurricular, not just swimming, but generally uh, in sports, in arts, to develop it further in such a way that we're able to identify talent early, we're able to nurture that, and we're able to identify good coaches and teachers and build structures that um, grow, you know, structures that are able to um, nurture the kids um, and get them to that international platform. We changed from Nakfeo to Peak Kenya because uh, it's a uh, peak is more inclusive of all the counties in, in Kenya and not only in Nairobi as uh, the way Nakfeo it was. So by now we have uh, at least more teams coming in, in on board. We have teams coming all the way from Kiambu coming to uh, this event and in future we are looking at uh, coming to more counties in uh, Kisumu we are going to all the way to also in Ma Mombasa to see how we can bring up the children uh, to get more talents not only in swimming also we are looking at more sports uh, next weekend we are going to have soccer uh, in Merisho school uh, we call upon all the teams to participate in that event so that we can be able to nurture the ch uh, children from all the sports. Uh, big sports has come with a uh, force. Uh, it has started very well. Have you seen today? Most of us are, are on board. Parents are participating or by supporting their children in the events. Going forward, big sports is the uh, is a organizer that is going to be uh, monitored and observed in the near future. Thank you.